Our objectives in this lesson are to define and identify independent and dependent variables. Let's have a quick activity. Rat of nature. What do you think happens next in the pictures on top? Match your answers with the pictures below them. This is a picture of volcanic eruption, and after it, there would be ashes all over the place, like what happened in the eruption of Taal Volcano last January 2020. This is a picture of a storm brewing, and after this, definitely there would be flood all over the place. This is a picture of a tornado, and a tornado as big as this will definitely create a destruction like this one. This is a picture showing the magnitude of an earthquake, and after an earthquake, it would be wise to check our houses if there have been damages. This activity is related to our lesson today, independent and dependent variables. Independent variable is the cause or reason of the event. It determines or affects the dependent variable. It is the variable that happens first. In research, it is sometimes called the manipulated or controlled variable. And the independent variable can stand alone. On the other hand, dependent variable is the effect or outcome. It depends or relies on the independent variable. It is the variable that happens next. If this is the manipulated or controlled, this is the responding variable. And the dependent variable cannot stand alone. It needs an independent variable to happen. Let's have an activity. Which one happens first? I have here bivariate data. A bivariate data have two variables, one independent and one dependent. What we are going to do is to identify which of these happens first. Those things that happens first will be right down in column 1, and those things that happens next will be right down in column 2. The first one is storm and landslide. Which do you think happens first? Of course, the storm happens first, and then afterwards, there might be a landslide. Next one, cast and broken leg. A doctor will not put a cast on you if you do not have a broken leg. So broken leg will come first, and then the doctor will put a cast on it. Next one, success and hard work. Of course, hard work comes first before you achieve success. The next one, work and salary. You won't have a salary if you're not going to work. So the work comes first and the salary comes next. Next one, we have age and wisdom. As you grow older, you grow wiser. So age comes first, wisdom comes next. Last one, melted ice cream and brown out. Your ice cream won't melt if you have electricity. So brown out comes first and then melted ice cream. These items in column one are what we call the independent variables. And these items in column two are what we call the dependent variables. Once again, independent and dependent variables comprise a bivariate data. Try this. Construct a sentence that will correctly connect the given variables. I have here amount of gasoline and distance traveled. The length of distance traveled depends on the amount of gasoline that you have. Number two, level of difficulty and time to finish a math problem. The time to finish a math problem depends on its level of difficulty. Number three, amount of flour and flappiness of bread. The flappiness of bread depends on the amount of flour. Last one, level of understanding and level of engagement. What do you think is the connection? The level of understanding 
depends on the level of engagement. If you are more engaged into your lesson, the more that you are going to understand it. Let us do extra challenge. Underline the independent variable and box the dependent variable. Number one, to what extent does bullying affect a person's mental health? It's already written here, bullying affect person's mental health. So our independent variable is bullying and the dependent variable here is the mental health. Number two, the effects of video lesson on students' performance in math. This is an example of a research title. So let us determine which variable depends on the other. The student's performance is dependent on the video lesson. So our independent variable is the video lessons, while a student's performance is the dependent variable. How about this? Is a student's performance affected by parental involvement? Which do you think happens first? Is it the student's performance or the parental involvement? In here, the independent variable is the parental involvement. Depending on the parental involvement, you can analyze the student's performance. So this is the dependent variable. Number four, stressful experiences have a significant effect on health conditions. Which one happens first? Is it the effect on your health condition or your stressful experiences? Here, the independent variable is the stressful experiences. And that has an effect on your health conditions. Last one, the prize money is determined by the number of correct answers in a game show. So you join a game show and your prize depends on the number of correct answers. So the independent variable here or the controlled variable is the number of correct answers. And the responding variable or the dependent variable is the prize money. For the summary, here are the things that we discussed in this lesson. Take time to understand this. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. Write IV for independent variable and DV for dependent variable. Letter A, number of houses flooded because of Super Typhoon Yolanda. Which do you think comes first? Of course, it is the Super Typhoon Yolanda. So this is our independent variable. And what happens next after that? Number of houses flooded. This is our dependent variable. Letter B, is there a relationship between the number of excess and physical appearance? It says the more beautiful or handsome you are, the more number of excess you have. So the physical appearance is our independent variable and the number of excess is our dependent variable. Last one, letter C, what is the relationship between playing online games and subject grades? What do you think will happen to your subject grades if you keep on playing online games? So the subject grades is dependent on playing online games. This is our independent variable and this one is the dependent variable. Gets? I hope you understand our lesson for today. Feel free to write your comment below. Our next lesson is slope and y-intercept of a regression line.